the first three days of practice out there. How are yeah, the guys first, looking? First three days have been great. Just glad to be back out on the field with, with, the, with the guys. Uh, we've been going through our installs this whole summer and then being able to work with our coaches this summer a little bit more. The NCAA regulations changed up a little bit. So getting able to get some more timing in with our guys and with the coaches there too has been, has been a great uh, thing for our offense, especially having a bunch of new guys coming in the receiver room. But uh, no, it's been, a gr it's been a great time getting out there the first three days. Uh, Mistakes have happened every single day, but that's that's going to happen. There's going to be uh, growing pains when we're coming back on the field. But we've got an exciting team coming up this year, and we're excited for this year. Mikey, last we left off, you put on about 10 pounds of muscle. Where would you finish summer at? I put on, I, I kind of maintain the same weight, just maintaining speed and strength and just keeping my endurance up, uh, getting ready for this season. So maintaining it that weight, I felt I felt comfortable at this weight, but uh, I'm still, still growing too. And... Uh, I'm still 19 years old, so that age, that weight will naturally come on as well, too. You're still 19. I'm still 19. <laughs> <laughs> Why talk about some of the new weapons you guys added to the uh, locker room lately? Yeah, no, I mean, Javon Baker coming in is a, is a huge plus to our receiver room. Uh, running back's room has been loaded. We have a Bowser, uh, Johnny Richardson, RJ Harvey coming back, Mark Anthony Richards. Uh, Kobe Hudson coming from Auburn last year. Uh, he's a great addition to our, our receiving core. Uh, Kamori Gamble, Alec Haller in the tight end room. Uh, guys like Zach Marsh-Wojan and Jordan Davis are going to step in the tight end room too. And then O'Keefe coming back being one of our leaders. Uh, he's one of our captains this year. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a great group coming back and we're, we're super excited for these guys. Mike, you want to talk about your confidence. I know Gasper Roller Bowl, you guys just had a huge win. I tried to talk to you. You were a little bit nervous in spring came. You could tell you had a lot more confidence in your belt. Now we're here at fall camp. What's that confidence level at? How has that worked for you so far? Right. I mean, the the growth that happens and takes place from a player's true freshman year to their sophomore season is always going to be exponential. But me being able to get that playing experience my freshman year too, and coming into the offseason, understanding what how a game week preparation is going to take place, understanding what teams are going to throw at us and establish and establish how. I get ready for a game week. Uh, that just all helps me out in my comfortability uh, in the aspect of understanding what I need to do to be prepared for a game, and then just knowing knowing what I can do on the field, and then establishing what I need to get better at uh, through the off season and focusing on those things, and coming out in the spring and feeling a lot more comfortable with myself and with the offense and with the guys that I was around and being more vocal leader this this off season. So it's been it's been a great off season. For sure. Mike, what's it like competing against John Rice Palmer? Uh, it's, a, it's a great relationship that we both have with each other. Uh, quarterback competitions are always necessary. There's always going to be competition regardless of the position. There's competition going on in every position room on our team, which is how it should be. Uh, everyone needs to compete and make each other better. We have to iron sharper die and that affects that works within within our own groups as well. So the best guy is going to play and whoever gives this team a chance, the best chance to win is going to be the guy. No, Mike, Mike, you, you had a chance last year. That being said, how much does this feel like your team, your offense, your job uh, I mean, just having that that familiarity with the team and being here for a year uh, and just doing everything that I can to be a leader on this team and doing everything that I can to contribute to help this team win. That's my main goal is to win, get W's. Um, so that's that's all I have to say about that. Mikey, you had a chance to, to hang out with Mackenzie Dalton, obviously the camp and stuff like that. What what has he kind of brought? What kind of advice has he given you maybe that's kind of helped you out? Yeah, Mackenzie has built a, a great mentorship relationship with me. Uh, I had a great relationship with Dylan in the past too, um, but he went on to other things. And then, um, but Mackenzie has been, Mackenzie has been a great help to me, uh, just providing situations that he's been in uh, compared to his freshman year and how he transitioned into his sophomore year and just the time frame and, and how he established things that he wanted to get better at in that offseason, how he really put his head down and worked and got the team around him and, and ultimately had the successful season that they had in 2017 and then 2018 before he got hurt too. But uh, he's been a great help, a great mentor, and he's a great friend too. Now, Mikey, uh, you know you had uh, the experience last year, your first start against Navy and then all the way down to the Gasparilla Bowl. How do you plan on implementing yourself as a leadership role? Has that been easy for you this fall camp? Uh, I feel that it's been easy because I have a little bit of validation through playing last year as well. But then through my work ethic, I try and let my, my play and my actions speak for itself. So. I try and make sure that I'm always the last one in the building. Uh, make sure that the guys see me around in the building as much as possible, and just show them, try and show them, uh, rather than tell them. Just let my actions speak for themselves. And Mikey, what would you do a better quarterback now than you saw in the gas bowl? I feel like defensive and, and cover recognition for sure. Uh, understanding what's going on around me on the defensive side of things. Uh, I'm obviously a lot more familiar with the offense, being a, a year in with it. 
um, and just my my confidence for sure, uh, understanding my what my abilities are and my strengths are, and being able to capitalize on those. Those are for sure my advantages this year. We saw the highlight post the other day, uh, Javon Baker. He threw the ball up to him. Was that in the corner of the end zone? We saw he went over top of DB. Is that? Talk about that play. Is that something that you've seen him do since he's been here? Uh, he's been a, a guy that can go up and make some 50-50 plays, more like a 75-25 play. Uh, and his advantage, he's a, he's a great playmaker, and we're excited to have him on our team this year. What good does a competition do for you personally, and also just for the offense as they're getting to work with you guys? Uh, the competition will drive everyone to be the best version of themselves. So regardless of the situation, competition is always a force of nature that's going to be impactful in the, in the right direction for anyone who's involved with it. It's going to bring the best out of them and show them what they have when when adversity comes. Uh, and it shows the team what the guys have and when adversity comes too. So it's a great thing. Now, Mikey, everybody wants to talk about the... Uh, I didn't really go through a quarterback battle in high school. I sat my first, my freshman and sophomore year uh, after a three-year starter, and then I played my junior and senior year. So. Mikey, everybody likes to talk about the QB competition, but how about the competition between you, the offense, and the defense? Has the defense made you guys any better? Uh, the defense has definitely made us better. They gave us a lot of great looks in practice, and you know, practice, it's iron sharpens iron. I mean, offense is going to win one day, defense is going to win one day, but that's how it goes throughout a season. Sometimes offense has to pick up the slack for a defense, and sometimes defense has to pick up the slack for an offense. So we're all one team, and it's just holding each other and getting each other better and holding each other accountable. Mikey, we talked about how you progressed since the Gasparro Roll Bowl, but what's the difference that you want to see between the Mikey Keen we see before us now and the Mikey Keen that will be at the end of 2022? Uh, definitely taking advantage of my legs, using them to help me a little bit more in situations where I don't have to force a pass or something. I can get a few extra yards with a, with a scramble and get some more running yards in. Um, that'll help open up the offense a little bit more. Uh, and then just taking care of the ball. That's what a QB's job is supposed to do is be, have perfect ball security. So trying to eliminate all turnovers that I can have and just play play smart and play aggressive and have fun. Has John Rice Plumley influenced that first part of where you want to use your legs more? Uh, I mean, John's a terrific runner for sure. Tommy is a great runner as well. Uh, but I understood that coming into the offseason that I needed to do that a little bit more, put on some weight and be able to take those hits a lot, a lot easier. So I'm ready for the challenge come up this season. When you look at the talent surrounding you, how good can the offense be this season? Uh, the, the talent that we have is, is tremendous on this offense. The talent that we have on this dream team is tremendous, but putting all the things together and really becoming a team is, is what we need to really do and focus on our goal, which is to win games and ultimately win the American Commerce Championship. So that's what we have to do. We have to come together and realize what our goals are, but we have a tremendous talent on this team. It's very exciting. Mikey, what class were you in? Uh, like, like when quiz. you were taking a quiz or something? Oh, yes, I was in, in finance. Yes, I was in finance. And you have that with John Rice? So yes. Were you guys studying together? Or? We were actually studying together last night. It was me, John Rice, uh, Alex Ward, and then uh, Cullen Smith, the receiver. We were all at like, Alex Ward's house studying. Did you get a better grade then? <laughs> we so we have not taken the test yet. We have not. We were. We just had class. So we just had false narrative. As a yeah. fellow quarterback, <laughs> uh, what did you think about Dante Culpepper coming here the other night? I guess you saw a little bit of his highlights. Like, what did you think about that? I mean, that was a surreal experience. Just being able to see the impact that uh, he's had on this university and seeing him, and because I was more familiar with him in, in the NFL playing, uh, especially with Randy Moss and the guys that he's played with, but. Uh, no, I mean it was a surreal experience getting able to hear, being able to hear advice from him because I'm kind of we're kind of living what he's doing, right? What he used to do, um, and just seeing how it's how the games changed and and how he had such an impact on it, especially at this university, it was an awesome, awesome experience. For sure. Okay, has been talking about seize the moment. What does that mean to you personally? Uh, seize the moment. I mean it's a, it's a trademark for us this this upcoming season and just taking advantage of everything that we have and be grateful for what we have. I mean not everyone gets to be as blessed as we are to take advantage of moments like we have but we have a lot of big moments coming up for this season and just seizing those moments are, are tremendous and huge for us um, to be able to do the things that we should be able to do this season. How much would it mean for you if you were named the starter of this team being that you were kind of thrown into the fire last year and now, now you can come in with the full preparation for the season? Uh, I believe that whatever you work for that's what you deserve so um, whatever outcome it is I'll be proud of proud to be a part of this team. Uh, be a great great accomplishment but the work's not work's not ever done uh, regardless of what happens we'll be there for each other this entire team will be there for each other um, and we'll all be working to get each other better every week do you think a quarterback battle hurts or helps the chemistry within the team uh, it definitely helps i mean just like i said before uh, 
just showing what guys have when when it really matters and when they go through adversity and when they're tested, uh, I feel like it's always necessary to bring the best out of people. You have a new offensive coordinator coming in this season. What has it been like uh, working with working with Chip Lindsey? Uh, Coach Chip has been a great addition to this staff. He's been a uh, very beneficial help in the quarterback room and in the developing standards. Um, he's, he's helped me tremendously in defensive and in coverage recognition. Like I said, I got a little bit more familiar with that and then just being with coach before I mean he's worked with him in the past so just being familiar with him has been a huge help to our offense and then uh, him and coach are really really close so them being on the same page is, is crucial for us too. All the veteran players on the offense like Ryan O'Keefe, Bowser have been speaking very highly of you. How does that mean to you as a quarterback? Uh, that it's means a lot to me. I try and work for the respect of those guys. Uh, coming in last year I mean I wasn't really the guy and then got thrown into the fire but that whole situation is different, but I just really wanted to earn their respect and show them that I can play and just and just show them that I can work and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to win for this team. Thanks, 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 Th